Shabbat Shalom, my precious brothers and sisters. Today is Saturday, November 22nd, 2014, and I want to welcome you all to this very, very quick, I promise, service today. I want to begin from the book of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, chapter 13, verses 4 through 8. Charity, or love, is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Agape love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. But love, the kind of love that Yeshua, that Jesus has for you and I, will never pass away. He will never leave us. He's with us always. And he will never forsake us. And that's the message today. He is with us. He is always with us. I'm going to thank all of you for all of your understanding, your love, your kindness, and support. We need to band together one body with Yeshua, with Jesus as the head. We are all working towards the same goal. We don't belong here. I don't feel that I belong here. I look outside at the weather and I look outside at the early, early frigid temperatures and the amount of snow outside of my own window. And I'm homesick. I can't believe that we're still here. But the prophecies are being fulfilled. They are being fulfilled. But until that time comes, when we see Jesus face to face, we've got to look one another in the eye. We've got to lift up one another with love. I love you very much today. I'm heading out the door. Uh, I'm going to go to announcements real quick. Very, this time of year is so busy with our homeless ministry and our, our outreach. And I want to acknowledge those that have given so much to this ministry, to the homeless and to the poor and to the unsaved. But I want to make mention, if you are from the Flint area, Grand Blanc, Holly, uh, Clarkson, Michigan, in, in the Genesee County, Oakland County area, they are holding their second annual Feed the Bus today. The bus will be on Saginaw Street and East Holly Road in Grand Blanc, Michigan. and. If you remember from last year, I interviewed the wonderful lady that is uh, putting this all together uh, for the ministry to where they are taking food, canned goods, non-perishable food, and we're trying to fill the bus up for those in need, the homeless children within the city of Flint and surrounding areas, those children that are going to school hungry and without. So I'm heading there now. Uh, to feed the bus. So if you are in the area and you have uh, any extra food, canned goods, I hope to see you there. Closing, I want to thank um, for the 20th, November 20th, I want to thank Maria who gave from her heart a very precious, much needed gift to this homeless ministry. And I want you all to know that whenever you give to this ministry, it's not, it's not I that is giving. And how many lives you bless, how many lives you touch. And they know that. I let them know, my brother and my sister, that you are in need. This does not come from me. This comes from the many, many people who attend our ministry here on YouTube that care about you. They know this comes from you. Uh, so I want to thank Maria for a precious gift of $30 to help feed the homeless. 
I want to thank Ashley once again who has come through I received uh, uh, from UPS driver two big boxes but the first box was from Ashley from Tallahassee West Virginia another box of clothing for the homeless thank you Ashley and I want to thank Randall again John 316 Ministries for a giant case of emergency blankets to help with the homeless if you feel that to get to this ministry to the homeless we can't do this without your help uh, I will put the link below God bless you all today and again I want to thank you all for the outpouring of love that's what it's about that's what Jesus's whole ministry was about love forgiveness man Jesus hung on the cross as they parted his garments brother Jamie Stam what a wonderful video go to his channel Stam heating he's got Stam heating and Stam cooling and what a wonderful message he put out yesterday as Jesus hung on that cross and he looked down and they were parting his garments he said forgive them forgive them father they know not what they do we need to love and forgive one another let's do that today let's be a strong church let's set an example for everyone and it starts now God bless you if you feel led and pray first if you feel led to get to the ministry the link will be below I'm off to beat the bus